If you've ever panicked and hit the wrong key or simply just been overwhelmed by the hundreds of different key binds you need to remember about how to play Tarkov, this video is for you. We're going to be going through some of the best ways to optimize your keys to make it a lot easier to play the game and also make those clutch situations just that little bit easier. So we're here in controls. Let's go through the four different types of keybinds so you guys can understand what they actually mean. The first one's actually going to be release, and that means that the action activates as soon as you release the key. Now, continuous means the action will only happen while you're holding down the key, and as long as you continue to hold that key, the action will happen. Press means as soon as you press the key, the hot key will automatically happen. And double click is pretty self explanatory, it just means you have to press the key or action twice for it to actually register. If we're using double click, you need to realize that this slider down the bottom here, double click timeout, is the amount of time that it actually adds a delay between each key press. You do not want to have this on one, you want to have it on the lowest possible, meaning that you can only realistically double tap every 300 milliseconds as an input if you want to have any of the key binds. So let's just quickly go through the movement keys. Now, obviously, this is the same as every shooter. You got W, A, S, and D. And as for smooth leaning, if you actually hold left alt and hold A and D, your character will slowly adjust to a position left and right. This is great for getting small angles, and I actually keep this keybind exactly as it is. Now, as for leaning in general, you need to figure out yourself whether you want it on toggle or whether you want it on continuous. What I mean by this is if you have it on continuous, you need to be holding the key to actually stay in the lean position. Whereas if you want to change it over, then you want to actually have it on press. Now you also may be wondering why my key is actually such a strange key. We've got equals and we also have hyphen. Now this is actually because I do my leaning with foot pedals. With the amount of buttons you actually need to press, using foot pedals is one of the easiest ways to take pressure off yourself and actually free up a bunch of key binds. Now you guys don't have to use foot pedals for leaning, but I will consider actually recommending it to you guys. You can get plenty of different USB pedals off eBay or anything like Amazon, and they make a huge difference when it comes down to being able to do quick leans while aiming and also holding your breath at the same time. Now, one of the major changes that I've made is when it comes to switching between sights. I've actually had this on left control and specifically on release, which means when I'm aiming, all I have to do is just tap control once and it will automatically switch between the sights. At any stage, if I hit control, it will actually switch between the top sight and the bottom sight, and it makes it so much easier for me to be able to quickly change between scopes without having to press a bunch of convoluted keys. Now, the rest of these are pretty simple, but what I've actually got here is I've got push to talk on E, and that's because, like I said, I got foot pedals. So it allows me to talk to people without having to worry about standing still. I don't have to reach over to the other side of the keyboard. It's not awkward as well as that push to talk is really vital in the game for talking to people and, you know, talking your way out of bad situations. But you want to have your push to talk key somewhere nice and close within the vicinity of your left hand so that if you do need to talk to someone, then quickly react if they try to betray you, that you don't have to be moving your hand from one side of the keyboard to the other. So next up, pretty much every single one of my keybinds is exactly the same as the default, but I did want to point out that one of the ones that are different here is when it comes to reloading weapon. Now, I actually have this on R for release, but you'll see the one below is called Emergency Weapon Reload, and this one here is Double Tap R by default. Now, the reason that I would consider changing it to something else, like maybe Hold Down, so put this on Continuous, or, you know, changing it to a separate key, is because if you do have it on Double R, you have to wait 300 milliseconds between spamming Double R for the action to actually happen. And the truth is, the emergency reload is an animation where your character physically throws the magazine on the ground to grab the next one. And waiting 300 milliseconds between the input of your R key is the whole reason that you are trying to save time because you are getting pushed or you would really desperately need that mag in. And then it's actually about the same time that you actually need to be able to save yourself and the whole reason that you're doing an emergency reload. So I consider changing this to continuous or actually putting it onto a different key for whatever feels comfortable for you. So one of the next key binds here is you're going to see switch fire mode is actually different. I've got that on mouse three. So for me with the G Pro wireless, that is actually the back button there. You can see this one right there. Now, obviously it depends on whether your mouse actually has buttons, but actually using the buttons on your mouse makes a huge difference and getting a mouse with two to four buttons will actually make your life so much easier. For me, it's something that I need to reach quickly. 
So I don't actually like it having on the default of B as I feel like it takes too long to reach over towards B and do it. So between fire rates, I've actually got mine on mouse three as it's something that I do quite often, whether I'm pushing a corner quickly, slap it in auto, push around into like a long open area, back to single fire. So one of the new features that got added to the game is checking malfunctions before you fix them. There's a heap of different type of malfunctions as well as other systems in the gun. But one key bind that you need to remember is that you have to have something easy to press for checking chamber and fixing malfunction because this is something that happens at the worst times in five fights and it's something that you need to deal with before you can fight your enemy. Now, if this is not an easy to press key, you're screwed. So what you want to be doing is adding it to something that's comfortable for you and you don't need to reach far away. For me, I've got this set as tilde or the console key because this is a key that I accidentally sometimes panic press when I get jump scared and it's a key that you don't want to be bringing up the console with, trust me. I've hit it plenty of times. I played this game for about 6,000 hours and I still sometimes panic hit the console key. So I've completely unbound my console key to tilde. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to put check chamber and fix malfunction on tilde for press. Okay, now what you want to be doing is you want to be pairing this with the same key that we set for another keybind further down, which is inspect current weapon. Now I've got this one same set as tilde, but this time I've actually got it on continuous. So as soon as I get a malfunction, I'm going to be holding the tilde key. He's going to automatically check the gun and then I'm going to tap it a second time. The second time will automatically fix the chamber. Now there's plenty of different ways of doing this. You can actually have check chamber and fix malfunction on release. And you can also go ahead to inspect weapon and put it on press. What this will mean is that if you press the tilde key or whatever key that you decide, he will check the gun and when you let go he will fix the chamber now the problem with this is that you can never inspect your gun without actually doing both animations so you have to inspect your gun and then clear chamber or check chamber every time now this is good for having everything all in one button press however if you decide that you have to do these two animations at the same time you can do it my way which is what i was saying you just hold the tilde key he automatically checks it and then you just tap it a second time and then they'll clear the malfunction immediately. This means you don't need two separate keys and you don't need to be panic pressing your console or any combination of these things. Now, last but not least, I haven't gone through absolutely everything, but I did want to point out that one of the best things that you can do, especially when it comes down to looting, is having a different discard key. Now, you can see that default discard key would definitely be something like delete. Now, the problem with delete and what you're thinking is that you've got to hover over the item and either move your left hand to the other side of the keyboard and press delete, or you have to take your hand off the mouse and then press delete. Now, this is too much movement. There's way too much distance that your hand has to travel, especially when you're quickly looting. So for me, one way that I've actually managed to get around this is actually having left shift being held down plus left mouse button. So what I do is when I'm looting, I'll hold left shift while I'm on the body and then just click whatever I want to discard. This makes it so much easier to quickly loot get rid of items that you don't need and get off the body as fast as possible because the longer you spend looting and sorting through items, the more likely that you're going to die while doing it. Hey guys, that's it for this keybind video. Hopefully this helped you guys figure out some of those keybinds that you've been struggling with. I know there's a lot of buttons you need to press, but once you get a feel for it and find out what works for you, it's so much easier. Hopefully this video helped you guys refine some of those keys and find something that you like. If you enjoyed this type of content, feel free to subscribe down to the channel. If you have any questions about keybinds or anything in general, or whether that be Tarkov performance, anything, feel free to jump in the Discord, guys. The link for that will be featured down below. We got a great Discord full of good people, as well as a link to my Twitch, and I'll feature that down below if you want to come and hang out while I play Tarkov and ask me anything live. Thank you so much for watching to the very end, and as always, we'll see you on the next one.